What's up guys, it's Wadley Acha here, and I'm bringing you another Rated Reviews, and we're here on Haven. Uh, on Haven, there's those grab lifts, and those are key things on the map that uh, you're going to want to utilize to your advantage. Uh, also, there's power weapons such as the Sticky Detonator, Needler, and then there's a few grenades around the map laying around. But most importantly, there's the scatter shot because on Regicide, it's all close quarters combat since there's, everybody's against each other. So the scatter shot's going to be a key weapon in this. So, started off here with Ventus. Uh, he gets a good ninja on that guy, and then I can see him. He's heading towards that sticky dead. Probably would have personally gone for the scatter shot instead. But, th that guy gets a sticky detonator, which is also good, so don't underestimate it. Oh, I like what you do here, right? Um, see, you use, utilize that a grab lift trick to get the flipper on that guy. He goes down and you go up and he's probably like, what the crap? <laughs> you end up getting killed anyways, but other than that, that was a great play right there. Um, right there, uh, you can see you got the scatter shot, and you were one shot, and you went out and attacked him. I know you personally, so I know that you're a very aggressive person, that you're going to go attack when you're one shot. But, you know, there's a balance, like, yin and yang between, uh, conservativeness and being aggressive. So right here, since he's already thrown a grenade at you, and you're one shot, uh, mainly you're one shot, you should probably back up, go down this ramp. Uh, you got the scatter shot, which is important, too. You want to keep that. So, I would have backed up and got shields back and then went intact. Um, right there, uh, you threw a grenade mid-battle. Never, you never want to want to do that unless you're like jumping behind cover and you throw one last grenade to like, to try to hurt him. Uh, but this is mid-battle when he's still shooting at you. Um, see, so he gets all these shots on you while he's still, like, completely unharmed. Uh, I would try to shoot him and then maybe jump behind the cover and while throwing a grenade, not throw the grenade while he's still shooting you. Because then he gets the jump on you and gets an advantage. Gets ahead. like what you're doing there. You went up from the top instead of go jumping down as soon as you saw the king jump down. You stayed up top and got the height advantage on him. Also right there you thrustered oh, over this guy which is cool. Um, you got an enemy and it's quick route to the king so that was a good thruster move. Oh, oh, just missed overkill right there. So close. But that did get you in the king with that triple kill. Um, not sure what you're trying to do there. Maybe go up, or maybe just trying to turn around and hit that guy. But, um, I don't know. Mistakes happen, you know. Um, right here, uh, where you threw a grenade first wasn't the place I would have chosen. See, you throw it, the bounce off the ramp, but what you gotta realize is Look where it actually blows up. It blows up in the air way up here, and he's over there. And then your other one uh, just sits in front of him and blows up too. I would have bounced it off the wall right there next to the grav lift uh, landing, and uh, it would have ricocheted probably hit him dead on. You were predicting for his... You were, you were trying to lean him, which is good. So the second grenade probably would have been fine, but... The first, uh, I would have thrown at the wall instead. Come back, kill. King still now, look what you did here. See, you were one shot and you weren't aggressive this time. And look, it pays off. You get the double kill because those guys, you just clean them up easily with your magnum. So, see, being, being very careful can pay off at some points. 
You don't always have to try to get that kill immediately. Oh, I like this right here, too. See, as soon as you saw that guy, you thrust it away. I mean, because he's got the advantage. He knows you're coming up. He hears the grab lift. Uh, he was one shot, I think. So maybe you would have been able to get him. But uh, good move anyways. With nice reflexes. And you do end up getting him anyways. He turns around and tries to come after you. You got to spin around on him, too. You get good radar awareness like fate. So now you got the overshield. So now, now you this is the time to get aggressive, is when you got the overshield. So that is what you do. Um, right here I can see you're trying to get the guy that was above you. You're trying to like account for him. Uh, account for the immediate danger first. Then, then go for the guy who you think is gonna. So the guy that was shooting at you, I would have gone, try to shoot at him first, and maybe would have been at least gotten in one kill. Nice. Got the overkill. But can you get the kill tacular? Nope. Not quite. So close. That was great right there. You stayed back and you cleaned up everybody. You didn't rush in and try to like melee them. You just stayed back and got shots. That's gonna end it. Nice body flipping around and stuff. Game over. So I'm gonna give this gameplay a solid nine. It was pretty good. One of the best I've seen out of the three I've done. <laughs> so if you want to submit your gameplay, um, send me a message and put it in your file share. And this is Wadley Atcha signing out. I like this play too. So see, turn around, get surprised on him, and then he gets back.